If the orbit behaved differently, we would know something was off. And we constantly think about where Einstein might be wrong. So he's not a saint? I mean, he's a physicist? I mean, we consider general relativity as the best theory of gravity so far. First, it is not quantized. We'll discuss this later. Even if experiments show it needs to be replaced, it will remain an important milestone because it introduced a whole class of theories and demonstrated how they work. It has a wide range of applicability. Newtonian mechanics and gravity work excellently in the solar system, except for Mercury. And we still use them. They apply to the entire universe. Not just Mercury, I remind you. Relativistic celestial mechanics helped launch probes to Saturn. To fly between the inner edge of its rings and the planet's surface, relativistic effects had to be taken into account. We have a specialist, Broomberg, who authored a monograph on relativistic celestial mechanics and participated in these calculations, along with other experts. So even within the solar system, when precise targeting is required, calculations according to Einstein are necessary. Yes. General relativity works as long as objects are large. It also explains the expansion of the universe and that time slows down. When I approach a black hole and you watch me fall toward the event horizon, you see that time for me slows down more and more. You will get tired of watching, go have some tea, and later maybe retire and write a book about it. While from your perspective, I still never reach the horizon. Physicists have a saying. Now you can watch endlessly how water flows, how fire burns, and how someone falls into a black hole. Literally, this can be observed endlessly. Whereas if you throw me into a supermassive black hole, I hope I'll have at most one day left.